August 21st, 2018. Boy, the world's really sweating it. <clears throat> really sweating it, man. Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta drink lots of water. It's so hot. It's so hot out there. There's smoke in the air. I'm in Portland right now, in the Portland area, Oregon. And I've never seen it this smoky before. I mean, it's like fog or something. It's weird. And it's bad for your health too. Real bad for your health. So Michael Cohen um, struck a plea deal and uh, I've never seen anybody, I've never seen a guilty man so happy. It's like the happiest guilty man on the face of the earth right now. It's Michael Cohen, you know, the uh, Trump's, Trump's attorney, Trump's personal attorney, the guy that was his fixer. <laughs> his, his fixer. <laughs> thanks, Michael. Oh, thanks for the fix. Got my buddy here, my buddy Hudson. What do you want? So did you hear the story about the... Um, about uh, was in it was in the news. They're talking about this guy that had the longest fingernails in the world. You know the world's record fingernails. They're so long they coil around like springs. Disgusting. And well, he uh, they cut off his hands. He went on in for a manicure and they cut off his hands. So anyway, the guys that did it, you know, the guys that cut off the guy's hands that had the longest fingernails on them, they've offered to give Trump a haircut. I mean, things are getting crazy out there, man. It's just crazy. So crazy. Well, I guess I'm okay as long as I uh, know what eventually I'm here to do. As long as I keep keep in my mind what it is I'm here to do, I'll be okay. You know, I guess. I think, I, I hope so. The one thing that I'm here to do is to explain homeopathy to the world. Get it straight. I'm really tired of all the, of your confusion, your pathetic behavior, your arguing, your fantasy land life. I'm sick and tired of your fantasy land life. I mean, grow up and get a cue, take a cue. You're missing your cue. You know, most people need to be told what to do. And I'm telling you what to do. Get this figured out, will you? Figure it out in, your, in that little bean brain of yours. Figure it out! Well, I didn't mean to shout. I'm becoming a little neurotic, I think. So anyway, get, getting back to my case at hand here. I've never seen a guy so happy about being guilty. This is like a chain reaction. What you're seeing is a foreshadowing. A foreshadowing of what is yet to come. This is a, this is a fractal. You see, you start have to start looking at life as a fractal, rather than a particle. Forget the particle; that's old school stuff. The new school is the fractal. Not like a lightning bolt; it's a fractal. And the smallest particle is not a particle; it's a fractal. And what is the small? What is the smallest element? The smallest entity? It's the hydrogen atom, right? Hydrogen atom. It's not a particle, it's a structure. What is a fractal? A fractal is a structure. And recently in the study, in the study of homeopathy, the Roy, uh, Russ and Roy and his associates, Iris Bell, Rick Hoover and William Tiller, 
the uh, the much escalated William Tillery. And what an what an incredible physicist the, this guy was, and what an incredible team. Iris Bell is like the leading authority on homeopathy, or one of them, maybe not the leading the authority, but Iris Bell has done some great work both in research and in experiments. She's actually run some experiments on it too. Well, these four people got together and they produced a paper on the structure of liquid water. The structure of liquid water. That water has a structure to it. Did you know that? Water has a structure to it and its relevance to homeopathy. Called the structure of liquid water, potential relevance to homeopathy from the material sciences by Rustin Roy, Iris Bell, Rick Hoover, and the vaunted, mysterious William Tiller, Stanford Physics Department, head of, head of the department at Stanford. Same with Roy. Roy was head of the department at Penn State. Published about a thousand, thousand books. <laughs> Not books, I mean papers. <laughs> Tiller was the guy that did the thousand books. I mean, actually, he's had some, actually has had some real books out there published. I think they're bestsellers. These guys did a study of homeopathy. This is back in 2005. They did a study of homeopathy, and they came up that, it, that there was a possibility that there actually could be something to it because of the structure of liquid water. That it's not, it's not, the composition is actually that of structure, not particulate as is thought by the mainstream goofball science professors of academia and anon, you know, their followers, their anonymous followers who all speak in the name of science. Yeah. So anyway, this is the action. This is what, what I'm... Um, I'm into today is the hump, the Humpty Dumpty, Trumpy Wumpy, <laughs> Trump, the homeopathic Trump. What is the homeopathic remedy for Donald Trump? I'd like you to think about that. I'm kind of running out of time here, so I'll have to pass this on to my next, uh, my next video. But let's let's start thinking about that. What is his homeopathic remedy? Okay. Did you know that, that everybody has a kind of a, presumably a constitutional homeopathic remedy, the remedy that suits them best, the single remedy? It's kind of due to your typology. Like, I think that Trump's remedy is platina. Check that out, look it up. Platina, platina, platina metallicum, homeopathic remedy. That's Trump's remedy. Did you know that? I think it is. These, these platina types have this um, stereotype of the head back and the nose up. They look down on the world as if everybody's very, you know, the little people. They're all the little people. They walk through the airport and to tower over everyone. And even if the guy's five foot six, he still thinks he's taller than everybody else. With Trump, Trump's of course six foot two, six foot two. <laughs> so there's so many interesting coincidences that come in here, like the name Donald Trump. You know what Donald means? It means leader of the world. You know what John means, his middle name? It means gift of God. You know what Trump means? Well, Trump is an interesting word. You know, there's a word called, there's a word trumpery. You ever heard of trumpery? Look it up. Look it up. Yeah, come on. Come on. Look it up. It's a real word, trumpery. It means petty little things. You know, the, the elevation of petty things. I mean, that's not the word I think Webster used. Webster had a, maybe a little different definition, but that's my definition of it. Trumpery. The elevation of petty things. And that's what it is. That's what it's been. And that's what it's always going to be, is the elevation of petty things. And this is what the platina metallicum remedy cures, is this kind of behavior. I've had these cases before, you know. I've seen this before. This distorted view of things. 
this narcissism. I mean, you can go on for weeks about narcissism, the chaos they create. That's what this has been. This has been a chaotic, chaotic presidency, an unprecedented presidency, unprecedented presidents. What a strange coincidence that would be. An unprecedented president. Come back. Come back and watch the next video.